My name's Amber Nolan. I'm a professional photographer in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and um, I photograph a lot of different products for different brands, different companies, um, and uh, one of the executives for Dermaclare reached out to me and wanted me to photograph some products. And um, it was kind of fun because I've already known about Dermaclare before and I've already used the product. The name of my company is 25 Mockingbird Photography. Um, a lot of people want to know what that means. It's not just something random we made up, but um, 25 is that Arkansas was the 25th state to join the union and the Mockingbird is our state bird. Um, I'm an Arkansas girl, that's where I'm from, that's where our roots are, so 25 Mockingbird Photography is what it became. So uh, we photograph a lot of different products at the studio. We work for several different brands, um, but I was actually shooting some stuff for Dermaclara and um, it's kind of crazy because I've heard of it before, I've used it before, and then they reached out to me and wanted me to talk about me as a, as a mother using it. Um, and I've, I've talked to my doctors about it, you know, you read stuff online, you see stuff, and you never really know if it's safe, and my doctor was like, totally approved, it's harmless, it looks good, go for it. So the product actually closes up the, the skin that's been hurt, so it closes up those stretch marks. Um, it helps prevent stretch marks. I have been very fortunate not to experience stretch marks yet. Um, who knows, this last baby might just kill me, but um, it helps prevent that from happening. So Dermaclara has been there for me. So we're almost to my studio um, here in Hot Springs. It's conveniently located by the Lakeside High School on Malvern Avenue. Um, so my husband's name is Cole. Um, we've been married for three years, but we've been together a little over 10 years. Um, when we first I uh, started dating, I actually found out that I was gonna either not be able to have children or I was gonna have a really hard time. So that was in our first few months of dating. Um, and we were just whatever the future holds. And um, it took us about four years to have our first daughter, Ava. And um, she was such a blessing. And then six and a half years of Ava, um, we have Prim and she is six months old and um, we thought now or never you know and she is just the happiest baby ever she's just happy to be here and I'm pregnant again so it's a miracle and a blessing and a wild card all wrapped in one um, so I'm 12 weeks pregnant so I think over the over the past few years um, especially since my first pregnancy to my second, so many things have changed um, that before you weren't really um, encouraged to talk about being pregnant or all of the, you know, the downfalls or the ugly parts about being pregnant. It was just you're supposed to glow and be happy and it's okay if you get stretch marks and just take care of the baby, forget about yourself. Um, but over the past few years, I definitely feel like being a woman, being empowered by taking care of yourself isn't, it isn't frowned upon anymore. Like, take care of yourself, feel good about yourself. If you feel good, you can take care of yourself, you can take care of your family. You know, your skin changes so much when you get older. I was 29 whenever I got pregnant with Prim, so I was pretty concerned about um, keeping everything tight and together. So I heard about Dermaclara and used it as a preventative um, around my 13th, 14th week of pregnancy. And all I've ever used is just the prevention patches for stretch marks. I think any time is a good time to help empower pregnant women. You go through such a hard time that not it's not always been something that you're praised for. Not like 
you have to have lots of praise for being pregnant, but you do give up a lot. Um, you give up your body, you give up social things, you give up alcohol, <laughs> you give up a lot of things. Um, so I think that it's okay for you to take care of yourself and I think it's okay to talk about it. I think it's okay to say being pregnant sucks sometimes. You know, it's not just about being perfect and glowing and being beautiful because some people don't glow. Um, some people glow because they threw up all morning. So um, pregnancy is different for everyone. I'm glad the executives from Dermaclara stopped by and crashed my shoot. Um, it was super awesome to talk to everybody, but I've got to go. You guys have been in my studio, you've been at, in my car, you've been all over this place. It's time to go. I gotta get my kids. <laughs>